So today we are discussing another um, topic that is uh, mitochondria. Previously we have been discussing the cell organelles and uh, we have uh, we said that um, there are two types of cell organelles inside the human body oh, those surrounded by a membrane and organelles which are not surrounded by a membrane. Out of those uh, surrounded by a membrane we have already discussed um, uh, nucleus we have discussed mitochondria we have discussed golgi apparatus and today we are discussing mitochondria mitochondria is also a very very important uh, cell organelle and um, it is um, it is also surrounded by a uh, membrane as we discussed that the uh, the golgi apparatus the endoplasmic reticulum and the nucleus and the cell they are surrounded by a membrane which is bilipid uh, bilayer, uh, lipid bilayer that is formed of two layers of lipid. Similarly, the membrane of mitochondria is also formed of a uh, uh, lipid bilayer that consists of two uh, lipid layers. Basically, there are two um, membranes uh, inside. Uh, one is surrounding the outside uh, portion of the mitochondria and another is present inside the mitochondria. But the difference between the membranes of uh, mitochondria and the other cell organelles is that the inside membrane of the mitochondria is uh, divided into shells or portions which increases, which increases the surface area of uh, mitochondria hundreds of thousands of times. The importance of mitochondria is that it is helping us uh, in provision of energy. It provides us energy in the form of ATP. The size, shape and number of mitochondria varies from cell to cell. Those cells which are growing and they will have a lot of mitochondria. Some mitochondria will be large, some will be small. Some cells will have uh, hundreds of thousands of mitochondria. Other uh, cells with low energy requirements uh, will have few mitochondria. Similarly, the shape of mitochondria uh, will be different. Some uh, somewhere it will be uh, filamentous. Even it may be uh, it may have uh, some uh, branches, uh, and uh, sometimes it will be globular. Mitochondria is uh, different from other cell organelles um, in few other respects and one of those is that uh, it contains its own DNA. No other uh, cell organelle uh, uh, like endoplasmic reticulum or Golgi apparatus or any other organelle contains my, uh, DNA or nuclear nucleic acid. So it is the only organelle which contains its own uh, nuclear material or uh, DNA which is helping in the uh, production of uh, proteins or enzymes which uh, which are uh, utilized uh, which are utilized in conversion of the food into energy in this lecture we will be discussing four important points the structure and function of mitochondria then the structure of ATP uh, then uh, the inside the mechanism how the mitochondria is uh, making the ATP and uh, then uh, the fu uh, functions of ATP First of all, uh, we will discuss uh, what is ATP. ATP, also known as adenosine triphosphate, it consists of a nitrogenous base and it consists of a sugar and three phosphate, uh, three phosphate units. And it stores a lot of energy. When energy is needed in the body, basically it is provided by ATP. So it is an energy currency like a dollar or a pound or whatever. How the food is converted into ATP? Because the food is not coming, the apple and banana and the meat you are eating is not coming to help you uh, in weight lifting or doing the daily activities. The apple, banana, oranges and meat has to be converted into ATP and the ATP is going to provide you the energy when you need it. So how exactly is, we, uh, is it converted into the ATP? We start here. When we take uh, food, like carbohydrates, like sugars, they are converted into glucose. When we eat oils, the oils are converted into fatty acids. And when we eat proteins like meat, they are converted into amino acids. Glucose with, in a process known as glycolysis is converted into pyruvic acid. 
this process is going outside the mitochondria this is mitochondria and it is the cytoplasm so glycose uh, glucose is being converted into pyruvic acid outside the mitochondria similarly fatty acids and amino acids are being converted into acetoacetic acid in the process of conversion of glucose into pyruvic acid glycolysis two atps are formed in the conversion of one glucose unit into pyruvic acid these two atps they just constitute 5% of the total atps that are produced 95% of atps are basically produced inside the mitochondria when the glucose is converted into pyruvic acid pyruvic acid is converted into acet acetyl coa enzyme similarly acetoacetic acid from the fatty acids and amino acids is converted into acetyl coa acetyl coa from the cytoplasm will come to mitochondria inside the mitochondria there are hundreds of thousands of enzymes which in a process uh, known as oxidative phosphorylation oxidative phosphorylation will convert this acetyl coa into atps or uh, energy currency when it when the acetyl coa enters the mitochondria first of all it is converted it is split into hydrogen and carbon dioxide it is split into hydrogen atom and carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide that is produced in the process it will come out of the it will come out of the mitochondria and then it will be excreted out of the body through respiration oxygen which is coming through uh, respiration or breathing it is basically coming into the cell through the blood into the cell and from the cells into the mitochondria and in the mitochondria it combines it combines with the hydrogen and is converted into water so acetyl coa is converted into hydrogen and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is excreted out of the mitochondria and cell and out of the body while oxygen that is coming from outside environment through the lungs through the blood into the cell and into the mitochondria is combined with hydrogen and water is formed in the process of this a uh, process of hydrogen being combined with oxygen a lot of energy is released a lot of energy is released in the mitochondria and this is released with the help of enzymes and this process is known as krebs cycle or citric acid cycle the process of conversion of acetyl coa into atp is uh, known as krebs cycle or citric acid cycle a lot of enzymes are involved in this process uh, we will discuss it in uh, biochemistry or some other uh, chapter how exactly step by step the acetyl coa is converted into energy but here we we are just uh, superficially discussing it we are not going into details but a lot of enzymes are uh, involved in this process the energy that is released the energy that is released by combination of hydrogen and oxygen is converted into atp as we discussed atp is a combination of adenosine ribose a sugar and three phosphates uh, three phosphate so it is triphosphate atp it stores its energy in its uh, bonds the two bonds between the oxygen and the phosphate these bonds are different bond uh, from the normal uh, bonding between the uh, carbon and hydrogen because they they uh, they are storing a lot of energy so basically the atp molecule has a lot of bondings between phosphorus oxygen hydrogen and carbon but there are two specific bonds which have been uh, shown with the red color they are storing a lot of energy and this energy is stored in the atp when hydrogen combines with oxygen and energy is released when energy is released the energy is not needed at that moment or that point so it is converted into atp and it is stored and it will be utilized when the human body will need uh, energy 
it is like when you earn a lot of money but you do not need all the money you have earned on the same day when you have earned or you have got your salary so what you do you just uh, put the money in the bank in your account and uh, when you need the, your money you will just uh, um, uh, take it out same is the case with the energy energy is released but energy is not needed all the time energy is only needed when we are lifting weights or when we are exercising or we are doing daily activities so while we are uh, sleeping or we are not doing activities this energy is being stored in the form of ATP and inside the ATP it is basically these two specific bonds which are storing the energy how exactly how exactly this um, energy is released has been shown here this is the intramembrane space or the space between the two membranes of the mitochondria and this is the matrix the mitochondrial matrix the intramembrane space and the matrix of the mitochondria which have been shown here here we have a lot of uh, complexes like complex 1, complex, complex 2, complex 3, complex 4, complex 5. These complexes basically constitute the electron transport chain and they are made of NADPH, uh, cytochrome uh, C uh, and uh, ATP synthetase. The complex number one, complex number three, and complex number four, they are just they are just uh, throwing the hydro hydrogen ion. They are just throwing the hydrogen ion that has been released from acetyl CoA into the intramembrane space, into the intramembrane space, with the help of complexes complex number one complex number three and complex number four the hydrogen ion that has been released from the acetyl coa is thrown into the intramembrane space when a lot of hydrogens are accumulated in the intramembrane space they come through complex five they come through complex five this these complexes are just a small portion of the mitochondria we have a lot of complexes each and every portion of the mitochondria is having these complexes but we have just magnified a small portion of the mitochondria and we are just discussing if we go into detail each and every complex complex 1 2 3 they are, they are made of a lot of subunits like one of the complex may be made of seven com uh, subunits some may be made of three or four uh, subunits but we are not discuss uh, going into detail and we are not discussing them into detail but we are just uh, saying that the complex 1, 3 and 4 they throw the hydrogen out and with the help of complex 5 the hydrogen ion accumulated in intramembrane space is coming back into the mitochondrial matrix while it is coming back into the mitochondrial matrix at this point energy is released and when energy is released ADP is converted into ATP. So here we are discussing the ATP, adenosine triphosphate, triphosphate 3 and when one phosphate is removed from ATP then ADPs are formed. These ADPs are not providing a lot of energy and they need to be converted, they need to be converted into ATP. So basically uh, it is uh, ADP is like a, a half or a rotten out or an expire uh, currency which is of no value which needs to be renewed which needs to be renewed but for renewing this currency we need more energy so that energy is again provided by the mitochondria and it converts the ADPs into ATPs or it is just one example so we eat food uh, out of the um, a different portion of the food the carbohydrates are converted into glucose oils into fatty acids and proteins into amino acids they come into the cytoplasm into inside the cytoplasm they are eventually con uh, converted into acetyl-CoA in this process small amount of 
energy is released which is stored in the ATP but this is just a small portion. Actual story starts when acetyl-CoA is converted into acetyl-CoA is converted into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Hydrogen can, is really excreted out of the mitochondria while hydrogen that is formed combines with oxygen and is converted into ATP. Hydrogen released from the acetyl-CoA, it is not being shown here. Hydrogen released is com combines with the oxygen, it converts into water and in this process energy is released. This That energy converts ADP into ATP. Acetyl-CoA enters, it is split into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is excreted out, hydrogen combines with oxygen, it forms water and releases energy. The energy released is used in the conversion of ADP into ATP. This is a big picture. On, this, on a molecular level, the picture is like uh, this uh, when we discuss the complexes. Three complexes are throwing the hydrogen ions out into the intramembrane space and with the help of one complex it is coming inside uh, inside the metric space and it can and while coming inside it is releasing energy and that energy is converted into ATP. This example is just like a water dam where a lot of water is stored in a dam and when it comes with pressure it moves a turbine and when the turbine moves electricity is uh, formed. Same is the case we hear in the hydrogen ion is thrown out then it is coming through one complex and while coming with speed inside it releases energy and energy is stored in the form of ATP. Now when we have discussed this we will uh, see what are the functions basic functions of ATP. So there are and there are few important functions of the ATP in the human body we will discuss it uh, first of all the ATP the ATP released from the mitochondria this is mitochondria it releases the ATP the ATP comes to the membrane and it is helping in the excretion uh, the throwing out or coming in of the ions if the sodium is sodium is being thrown out of the cell energy will be needed and that energy will be provided by the ATP and in this process ATP, ATP will get converted into ADP ADP will come again to mitochondria and it will again get converted into ATP and then it will be available again to uh, bring potassium in or chloride in or throw another sodium out uh, then ATP formed will go to the endoplasmic reticulum and it will help in the formation of protein while uh, forming the proteins a lot of energy will be used and the ATP in this process will get converted into ADP ADP will then come again to mitochondria it will get converted into ATP it will then be available again to form new proteins so you see a lot of energy is needed in the formation of proteins, enzymes, hormones and other uh, cholesterol etc. And then another important function of ATP is to provide the um, provide energy to the muscles. ATP will come to the muscles and it will help the muscle to contract. For example, if I can move my uh, fingers, basically my cells are providing the uh, energy in the form of ATP and when I move my fingers, energy is utilized and the ATPs are being converted into ADP. ATP is coming here, ATP is coming here, it is being converted into ADP again here, it enters uh, into the mitochondria and inside the mitochondria it is converted again into the ATP and then it is available again to the muscles. So basically ATP is uh, uh, helping us in the electrolyte balance, in the uh, production of proteins, cholesterol, uh, uh, hormones etc, enzymes and uh, in the uh, contractions of muscles it is helping us in the it is helping in the contraction of skeletal muscles cardiac muscles smooth muscle etc so uh, let's recap what we have studied uh, we eat food food is converted into glucose fatty acid the amino acid it is converted into pyruvic acid from pyruvic acid is converted into acetyl coa and acetyl coa enters the mitochondria with the help of krebs or citric acid cycle it is converted into 
हाइड्रोजन एंड हाइड्रोजन एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज एंड हाइड्रोजन कंबाइंस विद ऑक्सीजन फॉर्म्स वाटर व्हिच इज आल्सो एक्सक्रीटेड आउटसाइड द बॉडी एंड इन डूइंग सो ऑक्सीजन एनर्जी इज रिलीज्ड व्हिच इज स्ट्रिप्ड इनटू द व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स एडीपी इनटू एटीपी एंड इट इज स्ट्रिप्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी देन एटीपी कम्स टू द बॉडी एंड इट इज हेल्पिंग इन द ब्रिंगिंग इन एंड थ्रोइंग आउट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स on the cell membrane then it is helping in the formation of proteins or other nutrients and then it is helping in the contraction of uh, cardiac muscles smooth muscles and skeletal muscles hope you have understood the uh, video thanks a lot for watching